What is up guys and welcome back to another team of the week cheap beast inform reviews Now I've got three players for you from this week and obviously the best player this week is record breaker Ronaldo Which is absolutely incredible. I still can't believe I have him and uh, I have a new series coming soon Hopefully I know I've been uploading as well and I apologize for that again I've been very busy with in real life things if you follow me on Twitter. I do stay when I upload and when I'm not going to upload, should I say? I don't know what I was saying beforehand. And yeah, so I do mention on Twitter why I'm not uploading on that day. Or if I'm not going to upload on that day. So I apologise again. Saturday I didn't upload. Yesterday I didn't upload. I've been really busy. But I've got this video coming today. And I've got and I hopefully I won't miss a day again. Because, you know, making videos is quite fun. Now, I have actually hit 500 subscribers today as well. So that was pretty epic. And I have a video, a special video coming soon. However, what special video? I have no clue. Now, if you guys want to leave me any suggestions down below in the comment section or just tweet me, I will take them into consideration because I literally have no idea. But 500 subscribers is definitely a milestone for me. Now, that was pretty awesome. And again, thank you everyone who subscribed. Now, today, let's get straight into this Inform Beast review. And we're going to start off straight away with Inform Ilicic. Now, he is a right winger from Fiorentina. He plays, I think he's from Serbia. No, he's from Slovenia, not Serbia. What am I saying? He's from Slovenia, and you would look, let's be honest. You take a first glance at this guy, would you take him? No. But what you didn't know is, right, he's got four star skills. He's left footed, so it's perfect when he's on the right wing. He does feel slow. Again, I've got him as a right wing. I think his best position was right forwards. Right forwards is definitely the place to be because he will always be up there. And his pace, again, he's like Totti, basically. Once he's up there, he doesn't need the pace to do anything because he's got. Some incredible, incredible scoring stats. Now, if we go straight into his in-game stats, you'll see that he's got 86 ball control, 81 crossing, 82 curve, 81 dribbling. He's only got 70 finishing. It's not great, but he's got 81 free kick, actually. Long passing is 81, and his long shots are 90. He can take shots from outside the area. Again, his finishing isn't great, but his long shots are 90, and his shot power is 91, which means he will be slamming them hard into the back of the net if the keeper... If it hits on target, anyway, the keeper probably won't save him. He's got 83 short passing, so he's also good for passing the ball. And he's got 81 volley. So it's actually great to have him on the right wing. I, I preferred him on the right wing when I played with him. I tried him at right mid. I tried him at right forward. But I bought him, as you can see on this, and given him the right wing with an engine card. That is probably the best combination you could give him. Uh, moving on to our next player, who is actually a right back. It's actually, it's actually in form Maxi Pereira. Now this guy, you look at his card again, and you probably think, wow, that's too slow for a right back. There's faster right backs. You've got in second informed Danilo, which is true, you do. But second informed Danilo doesn't go for 10k. I bought him for 12k because I just bought him straight up. But you can actually win him on a bid for 10k, similar to Ilitic and similar to my next person who you can win on his minimum. Now, Maxi Pereira is incredible. If you've not used him, he feels so solid. He's so strong and he has high attacking work rates, but he doesn't actually push up ever that much. And he feels so, so good on that. But he's basically like Ivanovic, but faster. It's actually great. Now, he's. As you see, he's got three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. And, you know, I used him in a, not Portuguese Liga team, because I've actually hybrided him into an Argentinian team, because I can't seem to play well with the Portuguese Liga team. Uh, but, you know, with the Argentinian team, he linked in very, very well with Garay and Pastore. And, again, you can, if that just opens it up into a wide branch, where you cannot go with the Ligue 1 attacking and a Russian defence, or even go full-out Argentinian defence. You know, Rojo, oh, I didn't think of that one. I could have linked him up with Rojo and have a VPL back four. Now, I didn't think of that. Damn, how did I not think of that? But now, his in-game stats are pretty solid. As you see on screen right now, he's got solid stats everywhere. There's no reds anywhere. His crossing is 83. His long passing is 80. His marking is 82. His short passing is 82. His shot power is 80, which is surprising. He did take a few long shots and he didn't score any of them. But he did take quite a few long shots that, you know, challenged the keeper. He's got 84 sliding tackle, 85 standing tackle, which are amazing because he always seems to be able to push and tackle people out of the way. And he's got 85 balance, 82 jumping. So he actually wins balls as well. Even though he's only 5 for 8, he's quite small. He's got 91 stamina and his strength 73 is absolute bull crap. Like he feels so much stronger than 73. And he's got 97 aggression. Yeah, he does. He's always in there. This guy in real life is absolutely brutal. He's got 83 positioning, 82 interceptions and 75 vision, which, you know, again, I feel this is a lie. His overall total stats, though, guys, is 472. That is ridiculous. His AE right back card actually has incredible total stats. It's actually higher than many other players I know, which are rated a lot higher than him. So that's crazy how high his total stats. I did not even know that. Wow. 
this card was really, really good. I like, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed his first inform, actually, as well. Danilo, to me, was better. Uh, second inform, Danilo, I, I honestly did not see any upgrade to his first inform. And right back, second inform right back, Pereira definitely, definitely feels a lot better than his in first inform. Now, we're going into our final player. And unfortunately, there was no other 10k player. Now, I thought the goalkeeper would be decent. He was 13k. But, however, he was absolutely pathetic. After you've tried informer... What was his name? Inform Trap. This guy was just rubbish. He was literally rubbish compared to him. And this goalkeeper and the player we've gone with now, actually Grenier from Lyon. Now he's a centre mid French. Uh, he basically is exactly like Gorkouf. That's how I'm gonna explain Cle Gre Clement Grenier. He's basically Gorkouf. Now this guy is a CM card. However, I do not enjoy him as a CM. As a CM, he was always felt out of position, too slow to track back. So I've actually played him as a centre attacking mid. And as a centre attack in mid, he fits in so perfectly. So four star skills, four star weak foot. He is his shot power is ridiculous. He can actually score goals as well. It's ridiculous. Centre attack in mid, he has amazing, amazing shot power, and he's also got pretty decent passing stats. As you see, his main stat on this card is actually his passing and his dribbling. He's got 73 physical as well, so he's quite strong as well. To take off the ball. He and he's only 23. I did I did not realize this guy was only 23. He's really young. He's six foot one. What can I say about him? He's actually really good. Play him as a center attacking mid again, guys. If you're going to get him center attacking mid again, he's 15k. I know he's not discard value, but he's discard. He's only 5k off, so really you only have to play about five games and you end up getting your money back anyway. Now, his in-game stats show he's got 84 ball control. Again, look at his stats, guys. Everything is yellow, except for his tackling. And uh, even even his standing tackle is pretty decent. He's got 84 ball control, 82 dribbling, 84 free kick, free kick accuracy, 81 long passing, 85 short passing. 85 shot power that's the shot power i'm on about guys 80 volleys and 86 vision so he actually sees people running for the ball really well to be fair anyone with inf second inform lacazette this guy will fit in so perfectly him and moutinho with second inform lacazette were beautiful actually you know what i actually prefer grenier to inform moutinho that's me being honest with you and i'm portuguese and i normally used to love every single inform moutinho but grenier inform actually feels a lot better than inform moutinho and he also finds Ibrahimovic and second inform, like I said, a lot more. Now, guys, this is coming up to the end of this video. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And if you didn't, leave a dislike and let me know down below. Um, if you're new, please subscribe. And again, guys, I am planning on doing a 500 subscriber special video. So please leave me suggestions down below or tweet me what I should do as a video. And uh, I will see you guys next time.